Good morning, everybody. We've uh, just started our first uh, boot camp session last night. And uh, if you haven't registered yet, man, I urge you to do so because LinkedIn and Facebook both have made some outrageous changes that make it even easier to build your business. But LinkedIn has a whole new version of LinkedIn. And you are absolutely going to love it. Uh, if you're not on LinkedIn yet, you need to get there. And so for the first time, what we've done is typically we, you know, talk about Facebook and then LinkedIn. I mean, Facebook has more people. But in this, up in this boot camp, what we're doing is we're reverting it. We're going to focus more on LinkedIn than Facebook. We're not going to ignore Facebook. Facebook is making changes, LinkedIn is making changes, but oh my God. The changes in the new LinkedIn, and we're gonna go over some of them this morning. Uh, but we have a lot of folks here that are participating in bootcamp. And so our first order of business is going to be um, to work with folks that um, are new to boot camp, and uh, so if any of you have profiles you want me to look at, please uh, pop that in the chat window. Okay, so I'm going to give you all a minute to do that, and let me look over here. And let me see. Jay, we're going to take a look. Uh, the, the best way to do that, Jay, is to send it to me on LinkedIn. Um, but we can certainly, I'll, I'll, you, I'll, open, I'll open it up and, you know, we can talk about it this morning. Okay, so, but if you can send it to me over on LinkedIn, I can, I'll get to it quicker. Okay, so, and Daniel, just want to let you know, I finally had a couple of success stories. I have one new recruit on the books. And another starting next week. I also have a good number who have said they would watch my overview. Curious as to how, as advice on how to follow up with them without seeming needing or being a pest. Good. And the easiest way, Dan, to follow up with people is to send them some kind of a motivational post. And Kayleen's got an appointment at one o'clock. And uh, yeah, I think I'm saving Scott for uh, Saturday, Kayleen. Let's see here. So let me let me uh, open this up. And let me move this over here. And let me unmute Jay. Hey, Max. Yeah, hi. 
So basically what it, it said is I was shut down because people were complaining that they didn't know me. And it's, they've given me a one-time reauthorization, you know, to use the program. But it says if somebody else complains, then in the future, every time I go to connect with someone, I need to know their email. Um. And, and obviously our search technique involves, you know, for either your approach involves reaching out to people that we don't already know. Well, yeah, but okay. But what we have to look at, what we have to look at is the message that you're sending to people because most, in most cases, people don't complain right. about a, a connection request. So we have to turn around and look at the message. In fact, we can do that. Yeah, you can. You can yeah, we're, we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to do that because, again, it's all about, you, you know, when, let, let me let me flip over here. Yeah, my me the message I've been saying is says your pages come up in LinkedIn as someone I should like to know. After seeing what you do, I'd like to agree with them. So. I'd like to add you, you to my professional network. And, you know, well, it's straight out of your... Uh, well, that's true. <clears throat> but remember, um, you were sending a different message before. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, but that was uh, months ago. Okay. Now, first... Okay. Um, now, do you have the old LinkedIn or the new LinkedIn? New. Okay. So, um, you'll know, folks, if you have the new LinkedIn because the toolbar up at the top is light so I'm gonna log out of mine and we'll log into yours all right so now let's go to our message area and well first Actually, a better place to look would be, so what they're doing here is they're, they're asking you to come in here and withdraw, mm -hmm. you know, clean that out. I, I will clean that out. Okay. So, so, but before you do, so let's go over there and just take a look. These are the messages you sent. Now... Let's go back. Okay, now you're looking. Let's look at this person here. No picture. And um, again, folks, they've got the new LinkedIn retail. And are you using uh, Sales Navigator reaching out to people that are brand new? No. Okay. All right. So now you're reaching out to her. Now, if you look at this, this was on a search for retail store managers currently seeking. Okay. Right. So now if you look at this, no picture and you come down here to the experience. The last time she did anything was 2017. So this is like three years old. Okay, and so one of the things that LinkedIn does is they look at who you're connecting, who you're sending connection requests to. And so this is an old profile that, you know, there's no way you, you know, so these are sitting out there and typically they make an assumption that when you're sending messages to people and you're sending out a bulk of messages to people that, let's take a look at this one. Um, now she's got 500 connections, so we come down here. Okay, so this person's active. Now, if we look at the message you sent, whoops, this is in Sales Navigator. So let's come back and All right, so this, this person hasn't done anything yet. 
let's come down here and look at the, especially the ones without pictures. Typically, the ones without pictures, so here, these are five connections. And again, same thing. The last time this person did anything was five years ago. So it's not that someone complained about you. They're looking, they're using that as, this is, this is the rules, okay? But what's happening here is this person hasn't, wouldn't have complained about you. They haven't been on in five years. So, okay. so, so one of the first things they do, and, and uh, uh, so let's come down here and so obviously if, if we just look at okay so let's look at let's look at this so this is the first thing when people come back and they tell me max nobody is responding i mean, nobody's accepting my connection request typically it's because you're sending messages Okay, so this person, this person's active, and uh, they just haven't gotten around to looking at your profile. Now, one of the things that you can do to safeguard you having anybody complain about you is to customize this a little bit more. Your page just came up on LinkedIn, someone I should like to know, if you're seeing that you're in the pharmaceutical industry, you have to customize these a little bit, and okay. and and nobody nobody's going to complain. Uh, uh, again, so I think that is more behind. We come down here. See, these are twenty four connections. Uh, let's look at activity. Okay, so she's active, but so she hasn't gotten to uh she hasn't get, gotten it yet she she's only been on here for for a very very short period of time okay so my my guess is that you know that's the issue and that's the problem and then of course what the other thing that linkedin is doing is they're looking at we go back to they're looking at the numbers that you're sending out. So let's take a look at this one here. See, the more information a person puts on their page, the more open they're going to be to connecting with you. So we come down here. Okay, same thing. So she created this page sometimes in the last five years, she hasn't she hasn't been back to update it. Now let's take a look at one more. Uh, so, you know, Kirsten, your name came up on LinkedIn. Someone I should like, I should connect with. So I want to reach out and introduce myself. Let's connect and explore ways we might be able to benefit one uh, another's network. Well, this was done a month ago. So, see, what you're doing is your name came up on LinkedIn as someone that I should like to know. After seeing what you do, you know, I'd have to agree. So, I'd like to add you to my network. So, the words that you use are, 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 are critical. Now, you've got enough connections, like you said, where you don't have to send out. Let's, speaking about connections, let's come back over here. Because, folks... Okay. You are now. right, but watch this, okay? I got to tell you something. I I fell off my chair last night when I saw this. Okay, so you've got twelve thousand connections. So we go over here, and gonna hit. So these are your connections. So we come over here and we look at the number of connections and we have first and second. Now that's odd because yours are different. So let's look at first level. So you got 12,000. So these 12,000 people 
connect you to 2.3 million. Mm -hmm. But that's as far as it goes. Now I'm going to log out of my account, I mean your account, and I'm going to come back to mine. Now they may have. Uh, So last night, in demonstrating this, I went to my network. Now you see, there's, now, if, if I was going to ignore someone, okay, and I go to ignore, then there's a prompt where people could complain. But nobody, I mean, everybody's here to network. So let, let me go over here and let, let me click on my network. All right. So I've got 8,146. I'm going to come up here to the top and I'm just going to hit enter. All right. So now if I go over here to filters, look at this. First, second, and third. Uh -huh. So if I go to first... I've got seven, well, they're giving me 7,700. I come back over here, I need 7,700, connect me. To one, one, one million. million. Now, 1.1 1. 1 million. Connect you to. Six hundred and eighty-three million. million people. <clears throat> well, there's only seven hundred and six million. Okay. So you got everybody in the whole universe. Yeah, pretty close. Let, 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 let me just come back over to yours, and let's let me just see if I missed it. I don't think I did, but no, I didn't see. But but well, I yeah, I didn't do the. Um, I didn't go to the, I didn't see if there was a filter there. So, come back over here to your network. Now they may have, okay, so we'll come up here. Let's see if we can search with filters. So you got 12,000 results. You've only got first and second. Right. I don't know why. Well, you know, it, it's possible, okay? It's possible that when you hit a certain level, like maybe you get over 10,000, you exceed their capabilities to do that. We will figure that out, you know, over the next couple of weeks right. as, you know, more or more people do that. So the... the um, Number one, with all of the connections you have, I would probably not send out more than maybe 10 a day. And I would really personalize it. You know? Scrutin yeah, and scrutinize exactly what I, is something I really want. I mean, And more important than that, the other thing is you really need to make sure that they're, they're active. Now, right. when, you're, yeah, when you're reaching out to someone, that's active. Another thing that you can do is... Well, and quite honestly, Max, if, if I am going to only be sending a, a smaller number like that and limit my reach, um, then I really begin to question my need for a premium service. You know, One of the reasons that I wanted a premium service was so I could have access to do a lot more searching. Well, but, yeah, but you want to think in terms of quality over quantity, and you want to right. think of your time so right. for example if you just do a regular search and you're scrolling down a list of people you have to look at and you got to, you want to find someone that's active now certainly you can do that without paying for it but but the ability to let me pop out of your account and let's look at let me look pull out of your account and go into mine what Sales Navigator does for you 
is it gives you the ability to, again, it's all about time. So, so your ability to go in here and say, you know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, you know, search for people that are, that are new. But now I want you to notice something. So, Max, I have a question. Is there in Sales Navigator, can you see who changed their profile in the last period of time? Or just people who just joined? No, no, no. You can, somebody that's posted something. Or somebody that's updated. Got it. Okay. Now, so I want to update their profile to indicate that they lost a job or whatever, then that would show up in their recency in your LinkedIn navigator. That's right. Got it. Okay. Now, but look at this. Okay. This is what I mean. This change. Here's another huge, huge change. Um, typically, when you make a change, to your birthday, or you make a change to any part of your profile. Your, your, your connections are notified up here. Well, now what LinkedIn is doing, like Petra yesterday uh, created a new, her new, her network marketing business. And so here, Petra's job update is right here. Mm -hmm. So what they're doing is, man, they are pushing, absolutely pushing communication. They have never done this before. It was always a, um, it was always a repository for, you know, resumes. Now, what you, uh, so another thing that you could do when you're looking at folks is if you if they're home not 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 notifications i'm sorry i say that's under your home the home yeah, page yeah, yeah, exactly it, 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 that's right it's it's right here on my home page so when i come up here i'm saying hey they're letting you they're starting to let you know what people you're connected to are doing so there's already been looks like four people have commented on it I don't know why it's not coming up, but it should. Okay, so the bottom line is when you're looking at someone that you're not connected to, one of the things that you can do is look at their activity and find something maybe that they posted that you could like or make a comment on before you send or at the same time you send the connection request. So it, it, it kind of cements the connection process. But the most important thing, because like I said, if I come back over here to my network, the only way, let me look at all 11. So these 11 people want to be connected to me. And... Uh, We we are in need of an entire. I don't know if I'm gonna have time for this. Okay, so here's somebody that's reaching out to me. I'm gonna find somebody that. Okay, so here we go. So here's somebody helping consultants, coaches, and agency owners increase sales and profits using. All right, so I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna take a look at. The page. Okay, so helping consultants, revenue boomers. Looks pretty cheesy to me. Well, yeah. Okay, how to sell your services online. Okay, so what I can do is let me come back over here and I say, you know what? I'm going to ignore this. Now, if I really see, and most people will just go ignore. But what they're saying to yeah, you. Underneath, over there on the left, it says, I don't know. That's right. So now he clicks on this. Okay. Now he gets enough of these. You know, he gets enough of these 
See, Moses. Must be in the same position I'm in. Exactly. Exactly. And so that's why it needs to be personal. That that's why there needs to be. You you really need to be um, um, a little bit selective about who you send it to. So what they're doing is they're measuring what you're doing. They're saying, well, here's a guy that's got all these unaccepted connection requests, and he's reaching out to people who haven't been on LinkedIn in four years, five years, six years. And, and because believe me, there are people that just go on here, they'll create a, a profile like this, and they'll just, bla they'll, they'll hook a robot up, ro robot up to it, and they'll start making connection requests. And they've got everything automated, uh, chat bots, which by the way, Facebook and LinkedIn hate these automated systems. If they think you're hooked up to an automated system, they'll cancel your account. So what happens is they turn around and they look at you and your activity and they go, well, he's reached out to all these people that he doesn't know. And then every once in a while, if you have um, people that complain, they kind of lump everything Right. Everything, every, well, every, I understand, and, and I am certainly guilty, <laughs> but it gave me a list of, you know, um, people that were the combination of uh, a retail store manager and yeah. currently seeking. I was just going down the entire list and trying to connect every one of them. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it was not opening up each profile and, you know, scouring each profile before I'd send a connection request. And maybe I need to change that. But th Bingo. That's, that's a, no, no. That's a, that, that's exactly that's exactly what you need to do. You you need to take a moment to open it up. Now this is what this. Let me show you why you want Sales Navigator. We're gonna come over to Sales Navigator. And, uh, and again, you know, it's it's really. Do you need Sales Navigator? No. You don't. But let me show you how. It's not much more than what I'm paying for now. So. Right. So you go, you go, you, you go over here to, to the filters. So you can search by keyword. You can search by by location. And it, it really becomes a matter of using it, <coughs> taking advantage of the ability to filter. So, for example, let's say that I was looking for somebody in retail retail sales. So I type that in there, and there's nine million people in retail sales. Now what? Now what they're doing is they're giving me some options. Hey, try retail sales manager, or sales manager, or retail sales representative. So they're giving you suggestions. Now, when you do a search, if the word is anywhere in their profile, profile comes up. So right, right. So so now. We could say retail sales. Well, let's let's just do it big. Now we come down here to let's just hit the enter key so we register this. Then we come down to geography. So we don't necessarily care for people outside the United States. So we'll do the United States. Right. So that's going to drop the number. Or we could get very specific. And sometimes getting specific doesn't hurt. In other words, because what it's going to do, so there's 400,000 in the New York metropolitan area if, that, if we wanted to spe specify. Or the other beautiful thing about LinkedIn Sales Navigator, this used to be free, is you could do it by postal code. 100, 100 miles from your zip code down again this is new i'm going cra i'm you know i'm going crazier because like i said this is the reason why we do boot camps so now it used to be five miles now within one mile of your zip code but since you're building your business online it doesn't matter so let, let's just go back to region we're going to leave the united states and now some things we could do. Well, first, let's just click on this. So we got 4 million people, right? Now, uh, 120,000 
did something in the last, not changed jobs in the last 90 days. Okay, now we come down here. So right now, as far as currency, you know, frequency of use, that, that hasn't been filtered. These are just the people that are coming up. So we could come over here and we could say, well, look, at there's 410,000 that posted something in, on LinkedIn in the last 30 days. Now, anybody that's posting anything is active. Max, and clarify, posting, is that only like posting and sharing an article? Or is that also changing something in their profile? No, it's, po it's posting and changing an article. It's not, okay. it's not changing their profile. Because, because the vast majority of people are not posting on LinkedIn. That's right. That's right. The vast majority aren't posting. But what you're getting here, anybody that's posting or doing something. Now, remember what we just saw with, um, with Petra is Petra changed, added a new job. Okay. And as a result of adding a new job, it ended up in the notifications. I don't know yet whether they consider that a post, but certainly that would, that would fall under change jobs in the last 90 days because she's just added something. So, right. but the bottom line is they're active and, 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 and that's what you're looking at. Now, another thing that they've done, now you're getting here, we're getting all retail sales. We're getting all the high end people, but doesn't mean that they're looking for something. So we can come over here, we could go, looking for opportunity in retail sales. Okay, so now we're down to 62,000. And again, 12,000 have done something in the last 90 days, in the last 30 days. Now, here's the deal. When you do a search and James does a search or Dan does a search or Kayleen does a search, when we all do searches, what happens is they're going to come up in a different order. They're going to come up based on their location they're going to come right. up based on mutual connections. So even though we're all fishing in the same pool, we're going to see different people. You're sure. going to see right. You're going to see different people. Now, if you if you if you go through the entire pool, naturally, there's going to be some overlap. Okay, but the chance, the ability that you have, another another change that they've made. I mean, this is what what they've done now is when you want to connect with somebody, all right? What we had to do before was we used to have to bring up, remember, there's two messaging boxes on Sales Navigator. The Sales Navigator inbox and you got the LinkedIn inbox. What we had to do before was we had to manually bring this profile up, look at it on LinkedIn. And, that, I, and that's one of the reasons I didn't jump in and Sales Navigator. Okay, but they've changed it. They've changed it. So now, if I wanted to connect with this guy, I just go over here to the three dots. I don't have to view the profile. I just hit connect. And, Got it. And lo and behold, we put the message. Give your message, yeah. Message in here, boom, and it ends up in the other side. That's so, wonderful. Oh, it is. It, it is. Now, let me show you some other elements of LinkedIn Sales Navigator that you're going to love. So let's go down a little bit. And go down, and, and this one is still a relative secret, okay? Because it's buried. View all filters. So now we're going to scroll down a little more. Now we've got 12,000 people to look at. We can come down here, and we could specify. Well, we could specify a company, or we could come down here. When did they become a member? So we click on this. And again, well, look, we could look at all of the people that created a LinkedIn page one day yesterday or last week. So we just click at one day and one, two to seven. We can, go, we can go out two weeks by clicking on all three of these 
Or we could. But you're getting the people that nobody's talked to yet. Exactly. Exactly. So here, now we're up to 162. So these are, these people are brand new, but still, and don't. Let me ask a question about that, Max. Yeah. So, thinking forward about our intentions, we're looking to get people who have some level of influence that they can duplicate what our the approach you're teaching us, right? So if I get somebody who's just created a LinkedIn profile, is brand new to the system and they're interested in my opportunity to join my network marketing company and then i want them to replicate what i'm doing but they you know they've reached all of a dozen connections you know isn't it going to be very very slow going for them to be able to replicate the program that you're teaching i am so glad you asked that question okay because think about how network marketing works the first thing historically what do they ask people to do Make a list of market, make yeah, make yeah. a list of your friends, so you connect with somebody that's a store manager at Pier One. Right. Okay. Now he's brand new to LinkedIn, but he can take what your opportunity because everybody that is in his store that just got let go, they're all looking for jobs, so he can he can literally get on the phone. Find them on Facebook. He said, listen, you know, um, it's going to be really hard to uh, get, uh, you know, to make some income. I came across something that I'm getting involved with that can put some money in your pocket right away while we're still looking for a new job. So what they do is they go to their warm market. You find a waitress in a restaurant. You find somebody in any sales organization. They've got warm market people, whether they're connected to them on LinkedIn or not, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. But you're right. These are people here are not going to have lots of connections. However, this store manager that's in Pier 1. Yeah, they've got relationships with people that uh, are also recently out of work. Right. And the next thing you could do is you can show them how to go up here and do a search for Pier 1. Right. And they could be reaching out to all other store managers and say, hey, you know, I... I <laughs> You know, they just closed. They just closed my store. How are you being affected by the uh, pandemic? And bada bing, bada boom. I found a way to generate. You know what I'm saying? So right. there are multiple ways to do it, and uh, all of you are going to find your own. You know, your own variations, your own processes, the things that you know work the best for you. But also keep something in mind. That right above, Melissa, she's a retail sales assistant at Planet Fitness. Now, she probably, when we say circle of influence. Yeah, she's not going to have a huge one. But but doesn't matter. But she's a sales assistant. So she could go to the gym manager at Planet Fitness. You know, it's kind of like, you know, you go to, a, you, you look at the people that work at a restaurant. You got the restaurant owner. Then you got the manager. Then, of course, you got the maitre d', you got the chef. There are diff people at different levels. So a waiter might be more inclined to reach out to other waiters and busboys and people below their station. But every once in a while, you're going to find somebody that says, you know what? I'm not afraid of talking to the owner. I'm not afraid of talking to the boss. An assistant, a substitute teacher couldn't talk to a regular teacher. But, hey, she could also talk to the principal. She could also, also talk to school administrators. It, it's all about their level of confidence. So the thing that social networks, the reason for 25 years I've called it the great equalizer is because anybody can come on here at any level in any organization, create a, an appealing profile. And sometimes if we don't have a lot going for us, we can still beef it up without misrepresenting ourselves, put ourselves out there, and then start engaging people that either we know but there are going to be more people on LinkedIn and Facebook that we don't know who are eager to you know communicate with other people eager to network e eager to see you know what's going on so what what this does and and there are different variations for example we can come up here 
And now we just did looking for new opportunities in retail. Now we can come down here and we could say, you know what? Let me look at um, uh, company. Okay, now we can, let's look at a past company. And we can come up here and we can say, you know what? I want to find people that were in the U.S. Army. Because I was in the Army. So I want to find people in retail sales or in sales that were in the Army. Now, they, they'll also give you actual companies, but if we keep it... So right now, there's only one. Okay? That's looking for an opportunity in retail sales that has Army background. So the more we filter, the, 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 the smaller the results. So we can come back up here and we can say, you know what? Show me all of the... The, we, the keyword could be veteran. All right, so we have 560,000 veterans. Now, all that means is they're veterans. We could put down military veteran, but we want to keep it broad. Now we can come down and we could put geography. Let's just do the United States. And then, so right now you've got 460,000 veterans and 63,000 did something in the last 30 days. So again, there are all kinds of people at all kinds of different levels. People get intimidated by, oh, this one's, a, he's a, um, the, the chief executive officers. Well, you come down here to the bottom, you just come down here and you'll get beyond the high-end executives you got 10 on a page. You got 100 pages. Right. So we go to page 8. And uh, again, we're still getting, okay, this person's a business owner. So it's, and now, not only are you able to do the search, but now you can connect with them directly. Right. Which makes sales. What makes, what makes entire sense to me I mean, you know, I was going for masks before, and that's probably why I got in trouble. Yep. And and what makes sense to me, if I literally am going to be spending the time to look at each profile before I make the decision to send a connection request or not, then all these things that Sales Navigator provides, like particularly this recency, yep. if somebody's <laughs> posting, they're the, they have the nature that I'm looking for because they want to share things with others, right? That's, that's you don't right. You post unless you have the attitude that you're trying to help other people. That's right. Um, and so that filter becomes very important to yep. what we're trying to do because we want them to share an opportunity with other people, right? Yep. So well, it's in their nature. Either that or that you want them to become customers. But yeah, we're looking for business builders. But let, let, me, let me just point something out. I don't want you to think that when you check the profile, you have to spend a lot of time. For example, if we just go over here and let's just do a simple search. Let's do um, looking for, whoops, looking for opportunity in sales. So we hit the enter key. And we have, uh, so now here, we've got to filter it down. We got, let's go to people. Right. Anyone? Okay, so I've got 397,000 people that are looking for an opportunity in sales. Now, but we don't know how active they are. So I'm looking for, to secure an opportunity the more information people put up here at the top, the more likely that they're going to be active. But this is all you have to do. Well, and the more helpful it is because if he says, I'm looking for an opportunity in pharmaceutical sales, then, then you know, or... Right. Then that's not who I want, right? Right. But here, take someone like looking for new opportunity. 
Now you can see a little bit about what they did in the past. But let's take, let's take Frank. We open up his page. Instead of just hitting connect, we open up his page. And so, it, and so all you're going to do, it doesn't take long. You scroll down and we look for activity. Okay. Once you see activity and then you come down here to see how at the recency of their last job. So if their last job that was visible here was five years ago, then they're not active. So all we're doing is we're bringing up the profile. First thing we're looking for is, well, obviously, uh, if we see something here, but we don't, need, we don't need to spend a lot of time reading this. Uh, what we want to do is, remember, we're looking for uh, some people that are active. So here, activity, if we click on this, well, he liked something that was posted a week ago. Well, that, that's certainly, that's active enough. The other thing would be, so you come down here, and again, he's been unemployed since August. Okay, you can do this in less than 20 seconds. We come down and we look at another one. Let's look at, um, well, we come, let's come down here. Now, it looks like these pages are taking a little longer to load, so they're going to work on that. So we come down here, and they're giving you other suggestions, so let's go to page five. So here's Rodney looking for an opportunity. Now, the reason these people are coming up in Miami, Miami Beach, is because that's I'm located in Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get people in Philadelphia, sure. Right. So now let's take a look at Rodney. We look at, there's no picture, but that do, it doesn't mean anything because he, he may have had his, uh, his yeah, He may have a picture, but it's just not set exactly. for you to view it. Exactly. But now we come down here and Royal Caribbean. 2004 to 2012. So the guy clearly, I mean, some, you know, it's not current. You, right. you, and so right off the, so this, this is where you, this is, this is, this is where you get in trouble when you're reaching out to people, you connect, 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 connect. So every time you send a message to someone, now here's another one. Let's look. Now, a LinkedIn member means they're outside your network. Right. So here we've got another one. Just don't be afraid about the picture, the lack of the picture. You're looking, we don't see a lot of information here. So again, and we, and we don't see their last name, but we come over here. Same thing, 2014. So one of the things most people do is if I'm going to, people go for the picture and sometimes just going for the picture is not always the best because it could be somebody that's very active, but they don't know that they're not visible. So here, Camille, looking for an opportunity where I can learn and grow. We bring up her problem, but you don't want to spend more than 30 seconds looking at the information. So again, we come down here. Now, do you notice like she's got 227 connections? You, do I, you yes, I do. Yeah, sure. But the number of connections isn't as important as when you come down here, executive assistance from 2010 to 2017. That was three years ago. So I would, I would say with all of the choices you have for people, I would make it if they, if they haven't done anything here uh, in at least 2018, now we have to, in January, it's, we're going to move it up to 2019. Right. So, so, again, this would be one where I'm not going to bother. Because I understand. I, 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 this is very helpful to me, Max. It was. Keep me out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, and I got, when I got that notification and it said, it, it, and I don't know whether it means if I get one more person that says, I don't know, Jay, or if I get, if there's some threshold number, it's probably more than one, but it got me nervous. It says, hey, you know, I'm, I'm in the penalty zone, and if I get another complaint, then in essence, LinkedIn shut off to me. You well, know? yeah, well, you know, you, you, listen, you can always appeal, but, but um, you'll never get a complaint if you personalize the thing a little bit more and you're sending it to someone that's active. Right. Okay. And remember, that's what, that's, that's what compliments 
are all about. So, friend, with all the people with all the people that you deal with, have you ever had someone else come up with my current problem? Oh yeah, oh for sure. <laughs> you know, Sandy Cohn. When I first started working with her, and she was uh, one of the top leaders in Zango. When I showed her LinkedIn, she went wild. And so in one day, in one day, she reached out to 700 people. And she just went, connect, 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 connect. She just yeah, came up and boom, just connect. And she got shut down. <laughs> so, yeah. so, you know, and it, we all have a tendency. You know, it, it, so it happens all the time. But, but they're reasonable people. And, and you've been with them long enough. So you know what the rule is. You all can stay out of jail. People will never complain about you. And just remember this, that maybe two years ago or three years ago or, or, or six or seven years ago, people were more inclined to complain. Okay, hey, I put my resume up there. But now what's happening on LinkedIn, what LinkedIn is doing is they are constantly, for the, for they're pushing people in front of you like never before. Right. And so, but that doesn't mean that these people are active. That's, that's another thing to consider. Yeah, because they're using an algorithm that just says what characteristic match up with, with Jay. Right. And if so, they're, they're, they're popping them in here. Right, so here's Cherry. There's nothing here. If you turn around and look at her profile, there's one connection. Okay. So reaching, so reaching, so what, you know, in effect, what LinkedIn is doing is they're using this process to clean out their data, their database. And, and, uh, uh, so the, so sending someone like this a connection would be a, a waste of your time. So based on your profile, give me a break based on your profile, j just because they're here doesn't mean that same thing same thing she created this profile god knows when she could have created this profile in 1990 right and but she hasn't been back so again we have to take a moment and check out who these people are before and you know when people don't have a picture that's a good indicator that deeper yeah yeah, and but but we don't want to spend hours studying profiles. I agree with that. Okay, so you come down here, nothing. So, I hope this has been a uh, uh, an education for all of you. And Jay, thank you for sharing your uh, your 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 story. Um, well, th I appreciate what you've done for me, Max. Because when I received that note from LinkedIn this morning, I was devastated. That, you know, I may be at the end of my rope and uh, no. just get new no, 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 no. You just, you, you know, it's like anything else. You just need to know what the law is <laughs> and, and what's behind the, their actions. You know, you, they, they want good citizens. They want, they want people on LinkedIn that are going to uh, contribute to the quality of the network as opposed to people that are just coming on here to uh, take advantage of, you know, what's happening. And you're yeah, well, it's not like I was using bots or you right, know, anything right. to do it all automatically. That's I right. Mean, yep. It was a hell of a lot of work to build all those connections I have. Yeah, that's right. And, and at some point in time, maybe, maybe, you know, because it's recent and, and they shut you down, you know, maybe in a week or so, you'll be able to go back in there and they'll give you access to the third level. Even, but even though you can't see them that way, every time you do a search, you're going to see people that you're directly connected to, people on your second level, and you'll see the people who are connected to the people on your second level on your third, but you just can't do the search yet that we just did. So uh, Thank you, sir. You're, I appreciate it. You're welcome. All right. Well, that was certainly a um, helpful educational um, process. And again... I just want to tell all of you that um, uh, it's it changes all the time. Okay, it changes all the time, and that's why you're not going to find anybody out there that is up and as current on 
Facebook, or LinkedIn. And of course, when you tie my experience doing this, we're all learning, folks. I mean, every day we come on here, something new. Like it or not. When do we get the new LinkedIn? When, <laughs> when they make it available in your area. When do we get the new Facebook? I've still got the old Facebook. If I go over here to... Oh, one last thing. Um, whoops. One last thing. For those of you that are in boot camp, let me shut some of these down. Okay, for those of you that are in boot camp, we've, we're in the process of updating social network and chatting strategies 2.0 in conjunction with the release at the end of the month of our Endless Free Leads Mobile 2.0. We're also updating the catching the corporate whale to catching a whale. So in addition, a whale is anyone with a large circle of influence. So this is going to be expanded. For those of you that are in boot camp, you're going to get the first, you're going to get the first taste of it. And this is huge. As well as we've updated the pandemic strategies and scripts. We've got them available in Flipbook. So you'll be able to uh, literally watch it without... Um, without um, let me just get to the scripts. Okay, and, and so what we're doing is we want to emphasize the importance of asking questions. Next, we come down a little lower. Now you can download these covers for LinkedIn and Facebook profiles. And also positive motivational messages that you'll just be able to copy and paste and start using a lot and Included in there is a training on how to go find your own. And then, of course, you have access to the September boot camp. Now, for those people that were in, in, in the September, in boot camp in September, okay, you're not going to have these. These are moving forward, October moving forward, it's in here. You're also not going to have these new ones which is a good reason if you were in the October, in the September boot camp, to get into the October boot camp. Now we're gonna be working with everybody with the mindset of a 90 day march to rank advancing every month. And let me give you a little hint. The more of your team members that are participating in this October boot camp, the faster your business is going to grow. Uh, check our YouTube channel. And I've got a number of new videos that are in the process of that we're in the process of putting up youtube.com forward slash free leads. There's actually three videos that uh, are in the process of being uploaded. Folks, we're here to help you. We're here to help you. We're here to help members of your team. The uh, last night's training is being worked on right now. We should have it up uh, over the weekend. The next session, how to connect with people uh, Tuesday night. Uh, the flip book should be up today. This is, the, this is basically everything that we did the whole thing is here. Now, we didn't cover everything on the phone. I mean, we didn't cover everything live. But there are some really great trainings and great examples. So you can go back and you could watch these at your convenience. This is all about creating your profile. Additionally, we gave you, at the end some six actions that you can take that will get you immediate results, including wishing people a happy birthday. Uh, the happy holiday strategy, we've got a breakdown of how you find the calendars. 
the holidays that are uh, upon us. For example, Monday is uh, Columbus Day here in the United States. It's the Canadian Thanksgiving. So you have the opportunity to reach out to somebody and wish them a happy holiday. So all of this is here. We didn't go through it all during class. You go back here and you can do it at your convenience. Again, we expect to be releasing our new training, Endless Free Leads 2.0, on Halloween at the end of the month. So until then, this information is here. You will have access to it. Let me come over here. Down here, you've got the ability to register for our upcoming Ask Max sessions. Well, we've got another one at 1 o'clock. We've got one on Saturday at, at 11. Monday, 9 a.m., 4 p.m., and 10 p.m. You can just go over here and register ahead of time. We're trying to make this as convenient as possible to uh, help my staff. We also have complete information for those of you that want to jump into our coaching program. So until 1 o'clock or until next time, best of luck in building your business. God bless.